Well, an evidentiary hearing for Marcellus Williams is set for 8.30 this morning before Judge Bruce Hilton here at the St. Louis County Courthouse. This hearing was originally supposed to happen last week, but did not because of other legal developments that came up in this case. We can show you a picture of Williams next to Leisha Gale, the former Post-Dispatch reporter that he was convicted of killing way back in 1998. Williams is set to be executed for that crime on September 24th, but he has always proclaimed his innocence. St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney Wesley Bell asked for the evidentiary hearing after filing a motion to vacate Williams' conviction based on DNA evidence. That hearing did not happen last week as originally planned after questions came up about the DNA evidence on the knife used in the killing, the questions being that that evidence may have been contaminated. Judge Hilton agreed to vacate Williams' conviction. Then Williams agreed to a plea deal and entered an Alford plea. That means he maintains his innocence but acknowledges that prosecutors likely have enough evidence to secure a conviction against him. Under that deal, Williams would have likely been sentenced to life in prison without parole, but would have avoided the death penalty. However, Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey opposed that Alford plea deal and went to the Missouri Supreme Court to stop it. The court agreed with Bailey, saying Judge Hilton either had to have the evidentiary hearing or make a case for why he should not have it. After that ruling, Hilton set this morning's hearing. A release from Wesley Bell's office says they still have questions about Marcellus Williams' conviction. And Governor Parson has also talked about his willingness to discuss clemency in this case for Williams. We will see what happens later this morning once this hearing approaches. For now, I'm Clayton. Chris Renier, Fox News.